Hello everyone, this is our 2019 Ford F-150 Raptor with 65,267 miles. Beautiful gray color. This truck has a lot of features, a lot of options. Definitely a very well optioned truck. Looks really good. You can see starting off here with the forward facing camera on the grill. Hood is in great condition. No rock chips along the front. Or I mean anywhere anywhere else on the hood for that matter, but here along the uh, very bottom portion is typically where you'd find the most rock chips on the hood. Nothing across the front bumper. Headlights, grill, look fantastic. No issues. Front driver's side fender looks great. Front driver's side wheel. Excellent condition, BF Goodrich All Terrains, KO2s, and they are 315 7017s, which I believe are 35s if I'm not mistaken. I do apologize if I am. Uh, driver's side mirror does have some chipping on it. From a few feet away, it's not super obvious, um, but obviously when you're right up on it, you're gonna see it. Driver's side door. No issues, looks good. Rear driver's side door. No chips, scratches, scuffs, or anything like that. Running board is in great condition as well. I do apologize for the uh, bit of dirt there. Um, weather outside is not great. Shoes get dirty, kind of unavoidable. Driver bedside, looks really good. Here on these over fenders, um, I believe this honestly has something to do with the temperature with quick detailer or something, it kind of leaves a residue on there that's really, really difficult to get off. I don't believe that's permanent etching into the fender, but for whatever reason, using different detail products uh, can kind of leave a residue when it's super cold out. Looking at the back, face of the tailgate is in good shape. Up here at the top though, just above the handle, we do have chipping, um, some scratches, some kind of wear on the tailgate up at the top. Has some visible wear up there. The back bumper itself looks really good. Doesn't have any marking there. But overall, I'd say those flaws are pretty negligible. It's not something that you're gonna see every time you go walk to get in your truck. It does have a really nice tonic cover as well. Uh, passenger bedside looks great. Same thing on the on the rear over fenders here. But I mean, I back up a couple steps and it's not really that visible. Uh, rear passenger wheel looks great, no issues. Your passenger door, we do have a little bit of scuffing there and a scratch there that is relatively visible. Uh, small scratching up here, but doesn't look bad. Doesn't really stand out. Uh, front passenger door looks great. No issues. Passenger mirror, same as the driver's side, kind of peppered with some rock chips, stubborn bugs and such. Passenger side running board looks great. Doesn't have any issues. Front passenger fender. Looks good, a little bit of wear. Overall looks great. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle for me a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we'd like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a site unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a better overall perspective of the true condition of the vehicle. Hopefully I've done that. I do believe this is a pretty clean F-150 Raptor. Um, yes, it does have some cosmetic flaws. It's not perfect, but overall the price of the truck versus how it's optioned and what you get makes those flaws pretty easy to look over. It does have the uh, keyless lock and unlock. 
which is pretty awesome. It does have the uh, keypad there too. Door panels, white contrast stitched black leather, driver memory uh, doors, or I'm sorry, <laughs> driver memory seats, I apologize. Power locks, heated auto dimming blind spot assist, power folding side view mirrors, one touch windows for all four doors. Heated and cooled perforated leather memory power adjustable seats with the Raptor graphic up there at the top. Really nice honeycomb kind of cloth uh, mesh sort of texture on the sides. Feels really good. And then standard perforated leather down the center. All weather floor mats. Push button start. 10 speed auto transmission. Cup holders, two USB type A's in there. You got your heated and cooled seats, dual zone automatic climate control, navigation, Bluetooth. Does have Bang and Olsen premium audio. 65, 267, like I said. No warnings on the gauge cluster. Does have adaptive cruise as well. Uh, different steering response modes there. Four wheel drive, of course, it's a Raptor. Try the backup assist. Uh, I do believe it has 360 cameras as well, that it does. Of course, you've got your hazards, hill descent control, traction control, and auto start stop up there as well. Lane keep assist. Nice paddle shifters for if you want to change gears manually. Interior's in great condition. The door panels look really good with no wear. The seats look fantastic as well. Leather dash with no flaws. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Tons of auxiliary switches there to wire in, you know, off-road lights, air compressor, whatever you like. Power sliding rear window, which is pretty neat. Hopefully, I can showcase this really cool love that and then of course we have our um, panoramic moonroof we can control the shade and the actual glass on that and then your front reading lights um, so here's the giant moonroof pretty awesome to have I love it definitely nice for the passengers in the back power adjustable pedals as well to really get that seating position dialed in um i think you know back seat test oh i'm sorry there's also some scuffing back here i didn't notice before so a little bit of scuffing there um here in the back obviously back seat test pretty much fit any human being on the planet um i mean just all the room it's basically a studio apartment back here we do have rear heated seats charging ports and it does have a 110 volt whoops uh, inverter in the front and the back for 400 watts 12 volt as well if i can there we go pull from the right side um yeah so all other formats rear heated seats charging ports basically a passenger's dream back there who needs a bentley when you can just be chauffeured in a raptor and the hood release on this is terrible A lot of tension in this hood struts <laughs> pretty uh challenging to get that open here's a 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 making all kinds of power to move this truck around as if it didn't weigh anything this truck is a lot of fun to drive it's not slow the uh auto four-wheel drive definitely makes it fun too it gets off the line pretty hard really reliable these engines have been around for a little bit now They've been put through their paces and they do last quite a while um, without very much maintenance. This is a beautiful truck. It definitely performs, um, especially with the off-road suspension that it has, which is factory. You can't really see it in the front, in the back. I want to say it's Fox, but I might be wrong. I thought it was Fox. But anyways, specific off-road suspension, big tires, makes a lot of power, tons of creature comforts. These trucks are amazing. They're so much fun. They make for fantastic daily drivers. 
um, if you work, you know, out in the field, construction, doing whatever, these are great to have because you don't have to worry about the job site and you can have fun on your way home. It's not a boring, just a regular base model F-150. These things are so much fun to drive. As our 2019 Ford F-150 Raptor. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this truck on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.